My name is Dr. Ashley Beasley Green, and I am a bioanalytical chemist. I guess about middle school or high school, early high school, I had the opportunity to go to a career fair and there was this young pharmacist. Being from rural Georgia, I really never seen a lot of scientists or female pharmacists. And so she was really nice and she gave me some really good advice. And I was like, oh, great. This is something that I could do. You know, going through high school, my mother put me in a number of explorers programs for engineers. I said, okay, I, I definitely want to go into the sciences. And I like chemistry, but I also like the intersection of biology and chemistry. That's what really led me to uh, go through the path of biochemistry. And while I was at Spelman College, I had the wonderful opportunity of doing research at Morehouse School of Medicine in their pharmacology department. And then every summer I did research programs outside of Morehouse School of Medicine. And so then that gave me that research bug because I'm just immersed with amazing scientists at Morehouse School of Medicine that looked like me and who were really serious and focused about the, the research that they were doing. And so that was a natural progression to continue into, instead of pharmacy, I did a PhD in pharmacology. Johns Hopkins School of Medicine was a wonderful fit for me because it allowed me to be at the bench and do research, but because it's at a hospital, I had a wonderful opportunity to do a lot of clinical research so I could actually take my samples from the patient <laughs> directly to on the bench and do amazing analytical chemistry work in that area. After graduate school, I did a postdoc at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, and it was a little bit different because it was really focused on uh, research and measurement science, which is a little bit different than just basic research. I really found my niche there because it allowed me to apply measurement science to clinical applications. So that's kind of my journey, <laughs> and I'm still currently at NIST as a, a senior scientist.